Lab. G'day there! Welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. Today, we're going to learn how to make a model of a volcano. Volcanoes can be different shapes and sizes, but they are all openings in the Earth's crust through which molten rock erupts and flows. Some famous active volcanoes include Heia Fiatralakatol in Iceland, Mount Vesuvius in Italy, Mount Merapi in Indonesia, and the many active volcanoes that make the American island state of Hawaii. To model a volcanic eruption, I'm going to mix some chemicals. They're mostly harmless, but can cause irritations to small cuts, and things could get pretty uncomfortable if I get chemicals in my eyes. So I'm chucking on some rubber gloves and goggles. I'm also using food colouring, so this lab coat will help me protect my clothes. Alright, let's get started. First off, I'm going to make some lava bombs. How exciting! In a small beaker, I'm going to add two scoops of bicarbonate soda and one scoop of citric acid. Now I'll add a few drops of red food dye to give the lava a reddish appearance. Let's mix it up with a popsicle stick until it's pink and crumbly. Now I'll pour it into my rock mould and press the mixture firmly together. Looking good! Let's make one more and use yellow food dye to change things up a bit. I'll leave the lava rocks for a few minutes to let them dry. Let's take out each rock and place them inside the volcano craters. Volcanoes shaped like this are called calderas. Now the fun part, the eruption. I'll add 15 millilitres of water to this beaker and I'll add 8 drops of dish soap. Are you ready? Cool! The red lava rock is reacting with the water and dish soap. Inside a volcano, molten rock is called magma. When it flows onto the surface of the earth, it's called lava. 
And when the lava cools, it solidifies and forms igneous rock. Let's see that again. You can also model a volcanic eruption using simple household items, baking soda and vinegar. If you do, make sure there's an adult around to give you a hand. I'll add four scoops of bicarb soda to the measuring cylinder. Then I'll add a few drops of red food dye to the vinegar. And now I'll pour it in. Wow, that was cool. Try this with your friends and family, but make sure an adult is around and don't forget to wear some gloves and goggles. See you next time.